All right, take five. So I wasn't finished talking in the last video. I wasn't finished explaining. So, yeah, recently I've been watching a lot of YouTube families, even just the single people that just do videos. I've been watching, I call them family, so I don't know why. But, yes, I've been watching a lot of them get exposed because they claim they came from the bottom. Now they're at the top, and they're not helping nobody else get to the top. They're looking down on people. They're, you know, acting like they're too good to talk to certain people. Like, I got, say I got three Instagram followers. They want so much fame that they'll only talk to people with 50K. I'm like, you know what? I should unfollow you. I should unsubscribe from you. I should bash you and a lot of other things. But, oh, our faces disappeared. <laughs> um, but, yeah, we don't do stuff like that. We don't bash the people that bash us. We don't talk bad about the people that treat us bad. And... It's because we're showing our loyalty. But you know what? They're a disgrace. An absolute disgrace to the YouTube nation. Like We want to forget where we came from. But it's, it's... How do I explain? Not forget the people that helped us along the way. We're going to forget, you know, this situation. We're going to forget, you know, eating chips for dinner. Like, stuff like that. But, um... I'm not saying, you, you, I'm not going to keep re-explaining. <laughs> the type of person I am, let me explain. The reason why this is always dark in here is because I'm going blind. And if you read, as a matter of fact, I can't push pause. So, and give me a second, she irritates. She, she just got to be the center of attention. She over here trying to go smack the phone down. So... While I talk about the stuff that people need to know, because apparently I don't got time to be getting judged because I'm not like you. I don't have time to be just keep on explaining explain the stuff, but I will explain this. Because if you watch the Ace Family, you will know um, about the... Curataconis. And this phone is going to try to make me spell it. Disgraceful. Right. I'm not going to read too much into it, but it don't say, oh. People get surgery all the time. Guess what? Those people can afford surgery. Those people can afford glasses. Those people can afford the things that they can afford. I can't afford anything of that nature being who I am, which is a single mom. Yeah, it's, 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 it's just, I refuse. I'm not paying no $300 for no um contact lenses. Because suppose I use that $300 now, I can't buy her pampers. Or I can't buy her milk. You're tripping if you think I'm going to do that. No. I would never. So, we have this. The problems with filming with phones. This is the exact reason why this is irritating. Stop shaking me, baby. I know. But I'm pretty sure everybody's tired of you shaking me while I'm trying to show them stuff. All right, so that's one thing. The second thing is the reason why I talk about eating off a silver spoon. Yeah, I might eat off of it, but I prefer plastic. Why? Because I could throw that stuff in the trash. And... Uh, it's just easier. I like plastic plates. I like plastic everything. I, I'm, that's just the type of person I am.
So, another thing. Um, yeah, that's why it's always dark in here. The light blinds me. Like, it makes everything blurry. I walk outside right now, and everything looks like... I told you guys, I'm going to make a specific video for those specific things. It's, it's going to show you exactly the things that I see, the things that I feel, and stuff like that. Because I I, it's, it's very hard trying to explain how the light affects my eyes. Just know, if you take a mirror and you rub grease on it, imagine that being my eyes. The grease is all over my eyes, and when I walk outside, boom, fried. I can't see anything. Everything gets blurry and stuff like that. And it's just, you know. Please don't make any phone calls. Which she's probably about to do. Oh, you watching our video? What are you watching? Oh, that's the video when I um wrapped her up like a burrito. You gonna stop with all these hissy fits? Yeah. Hissy fit. What else can I talk about? I already talked about not liking TV. I have nothing against flat screens. I have nothing against regular TVs. I just don't prefer to watch TV. Only thing I watch on TV is Empire or Power. And those only come on once in a blue moon. So, yeah. What else can I talk about? I already talked about the, the bed. I don't like beds. I can't sleep in them. They hurt my back. And I have... I got hit by a car. Like, it hurts to sleep on mattresses. It hurts. You would think the quite opposite, but no, sleeping on the floor, it, it, it's comfortable. Like this is, this is comfortable. Um, what else? I used to drive, but I stopped driving because I was like a safety hazard to myself, honestly. Like I was hitting curbs and stuff, but that's only because it was on my um, blind side. I have a direct blind side, where it is my right, I, I can't see out of it at all. Like, it'll be just, this is what I see out my right eye. You see her? You can barely see her, right? That's what I see out my right eye. And let me try to make it super, super blurry. Like, if I put my fingerprint on this, will it blurry yet? It's not blurring, so. Alright. But. Let me see. How can I explain? Alright. <clears throat> I'm trying to find her. This. It's not working. Hold on. That's what I see out my left eye. Like, yeah, I can still see, but it's it's just blurry. Extremely blurry. Well, how can you type? How can you do this? How can you do that? Well, <clears throat> I'll show you. Move, please. Cause you be making these videos extra long. She irritated me. <laughs> yes, she's cute, but she be, you know, just. Uh.
she likes to be the center of attention. She's supposed to be the center of attention. But the thing is, I'm trying to, you know, not make this video be longer than it has to be. Because I'm trying to hurry up and get my point across. And she's like, slow me up. All right. Look what you did. All right. So she made it go back tiny. I put it on huge. Boom. Bold text. Stuff like this. Phones come with adjustable sights. So don't sit here and tell me why can I see my phone. I adjust my sights on the phone. And also, I do have a pair of these, you know. Without these, I'd be screwed. So, yeah. People with normal sight should never, ever in your life talk about somebody that can't see. Because you don't know what that person is seeing. Like, I hate, with a capital H, three capital H's, I hate when I go into a doctor's office and I'm looking at this person with good eyes, sitting up there trying to tell me what I can see and what I can't see. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try to be nice. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to be nice right now. But, um... I don't want to hear it. You can't be over there. So, yeah. And it's just like an unmarried person trying to tell you how to about your marriage. I hate stuff like that. Like if I walk into an eye doctor and that person ain't wearing glasses, I'm like, no. No, you cannot examine me. You will not be sitting up here looking at my eyes trying to tell me that I can see the big E. You need to go back to sleep because you're just doing too much right now. That's why I don't like when she wakes up early because she's, like, irritating in the mornings. Like, she only get two hours of sleep at night and then she want to sit up here and wonder why she's, you know, irritable, crying. She don't understand. She's a baby. She needs her sleep. Like I was saying, I don't want people with without glasses examining my eyes. I don't want somebody that's not married telling me about my marriage. I don't want somebody who's never had a child tell me how to have a child. Don't like, ooh, that stuff. It irritates me deeply. It irritates me. So, yeah, I, I just can't stand stuff like that. You know what? I'm about to put her in her chair. Give me two seconds. I can't pause it because I'm, um, you know, video from YouTube. YouTube doesn't have a pause button yet. So, yeah, she's going to stay in her chair because she keeps going over there near that bug stuff that I sprayed. So, she's not allowed to be over there and she doesn't understand that. And I just got her like five times in a row. I'm tired of talking to her right now. Yeah. So, she can be in her chair, relax. And I'm tired. Like, I didn't get no sleep last night. So, I'm irritated. And I'm just irritated that I, you know, wake up and be thinking about stuff like that. Like, literally, somebody trying to tell you how to have a child that's never had a child before. Are you crazy? If you let that person tell you how to have a child and they never had a child, when you sitting up there with your legs spread open like a, you know, a bald eagle, you lean up and you ask, have you ever had a child before? And if that person say no, tell them, you, you need to leave this room. <laughs> You need to push. You need to push through the pain. You need to um. Wait, what's the, what do they be saying? You need to push through the pain. You need to. Um. Uh, I watched this show. It's called One Born, and I be sitting up there. I'm like, I wish somebody would tell me how to have a child, and they have not uh, nothing against those people. Again, nothing against them. But you better not be in my room 
Because I'm going to lean over. I'm going to say, how many children do you have? I don't have any. Get out. Get, get out right now. <laughs> Somebody walks up to me with no glasses on. Can you see this big E? I'm pretty sure you can see this big E. It's pretty big. If you don't shut your little... <laughs> That's how I be feeling on the inside. And then, um, what else did I say? Somebody who's ne never been married or got a divorce trying to tell you about your marriage. Let me try to let me try to act like them. So how you how have you and Theresius been doing? Oh, we've been doing great. Have you guys been talking and communicating with each other? Have you been talking and communicating with your ex husband? I'm just saying. <laughs> No, you got to stay in your chair. What you want? You want this? Or if they don't even have an ex-husband. Where is your husband? Why aren't you married? Oh, I'm saving myself. Um, no. Mm -mm. You don't have no experience. Get out of here. Get, get out of here. Somebody who's never had depression trying to tell you how to be happy let me tell you something it don't work like that i can't push paul so uh that's on her i'm not taking her out of this chair yeah so what was i saying oh yeah people that don't have depression trying to tell you about how to be happy i'm that doctor i'm acting like i'm the doctor okay how have you been feeling today Oh, you've been feeling, you know, sad, like you want to cut yourself. Well, you know, it's not the end of the world. All you have to do is breathe and, you know, meditate. No, don't tell that person that. That stuff don't work, okay? They need a hug. They need, wait, I would say they need money, but some people be rich and depressed. What am I trying to say? That's why, I, yeah. It's it's hard to try to help somebody with depression because I'm I'm I haven't gotten any type of form of help. People think they're helping by you know asking you questions. All they're doing is making you relive that moment over and over and over, and it irritates me because I'm starting to realize a lot of things. Trust me, I th I overthink everything, and I hate when I overthink because. It makes me think about stuff like that. People trying to tell somebody how to deal with their depression. They're on the edge, a cliff, and you the, the words that's coming out your mouth can affect that person. You're trying to force them to take pills. You're trying to, um, you know what? It, it just don't make any sense. A pill cannot take away why that person is de depressed in the first place. They might have just lost their mom. That pill is not going to bring their mom back. That person needs direct understanding. If you haven't lost your mom, don't try to tell them how to deal with how they lost their mother. If that person lost a child, if that person lost anything in life, you cannot tell them that a pill will bring it back. It's not going to help. You just want money for your medication. You want you want a job. You want to act regular, relevant. You want to act relevant. So you force these people to believe that they need medicine when all actuality, it don't work like that. That pill can't bring back their lost dog. Like, she's too cute. Come here, baby. I got you. I got you. I got you. Come here. Come here, my queen. You can't tell people how to deal with their issues because it's not going to work. You can literally sit there and understand. But that moment you try to open your mouth and tell them how to deal with it, and they, if they sit there and they take that advice and it doesn't work, that's on you. They ought to sue you for that. That's just like saying, I lost my grandma. A pill can't bring my grandma back. And it makes it worse when I see other people, they hate their grandma or they actually have a grandma that's still living. It, it, it stabs my soul every time. And I get so sad. And they tell my son, take a pill and breathe and, and sleep and 
eat. Well, they didn't say eat because me, I eat mindlessly. I won't know that I'm eating. Like, I literally will have a bag of chips and it'll, oh, Lord, try not to get emotional. I'll have a bag of chips and it'll just disappear. That's how I literally zone out and eat because I'd be so sad. I just can't deal with it. Like, ugh. Like, I don't like professionals. They don't know what they're talking about, okay? There, there will never be a person that can make you understand how you lost your loved one and how to deal with it. Those people are a complete waste of time. A complete waste of time. Because I've been in psych wards. Like, yes, trying to look for help. And those all those people could say is you're looking for attention and stuff like that. You're a disgrace. Because that, that should have never been said to me. I was not looking for attention. I lost my grandma. And I was 12 years old. And that was my, she was my world. Like, I loved my grandma. Every time I came over, she gave me hugs and kisses. She gave the best Christmas presents and stuff. When I lost her, I literally lost my whole life. And when I had her, I feel like it brought some of it back. Like, just to have the love that I have for her. It's it's like, it, it, it almost feels like how I love my grandma. Okay? So, yeah, I love her just like I love my grandma. I, bo I love both of them equally. <laughs> so, yeah, um, if, if, if I'm dealing with the problem, I deal with it myself. I don't mean to eat a whole bag of chips without me knowing that I'm eating it. I just took you from over there. I'm not going to say it again, okay? Come here. Don't make me put you back in this chair. Get in the bed. <sighs> yeah, so stuff like that. Mm -mm -mm. I think about stuff like that all the time. I can go through a whole barrel of cookies and not even know I'm, I'm eating them. Like, I just zone out. And stuff just disappeared in my mouth. <laughs> it just, I don't ate a whole thing of cookies in two minutes and didn't even know. I'm like, where did my snacks go? And that's because I thought about my grandma. I thought about the cats that I lost. I thought about the child that I lost. Yeah, I lost a child. So I'm just like... <sighs> Professionals are not professionals. Yes, they have degrees. Yes, they work in the office or something. Yes, you you know, you put your life in their hands for that little moment. For them to not help you at all. Some people say, oh, they've helped me. Um, I go to yoga class or something. They, they, really? You could have told yourself to go to yoga class for all that. I know I keep looking at random stuff, but I can't concentrate right now. Because I'm like, she's all over the place. And then I'm sitting up here trying to um, explain. But yeah. Stuff like that. You could have told yourself to go to yoga class. You could have told yourself to debrief. You could have told yourself how to deal with yourself. And that's what I've been strong enough to tell myself how to deal with myself. It makes me, you know happy that we're in tune because honestly when I get sad she'll come over and she'll hug me out of nowhere like she can be all the way across the room all the way in that corner and the next thing you know I shed a tear and she just runs over here and hugs me like she just knew I was upset and I'm like that's impossible how does this baby know my son used to do it but now I know it's confirmed that Sometimes your children are literally in tune with you. So with that being said, that's just how it is. Uh, if you stay through this whole video, you're a real one. And I appreciate you. But this is Mama and Baby Major. I keep forgetting to do our intros, but that I, I need to hurry up and get a um 
camera and a laptop because that way I could just force it to already be in the video. And I don't have to remember to say it because, yeah, I got memory problems too. Why do I have memory problems? Well, try, let's try the day I got robbed. I was hitting my head so many times. Like, I think I still have the knot on the back of my head. I thought they were going to shoot me and stuff, but they didn't. I ended up fighting back. And I got away. And trust me, that was on. I, I got paid that day. They were trying to rob me on the day I got paid, man. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That was crazy. So, I hope them little, I hope them little people remember what they did, and I hope they get what they deserve. But yeah, they hit me. Not to mention, I was in a domestic violence. And I'm not trying to throw that person under the bus, but yeah. So now I just deal with short-term memory. Like, if you ask me, do I remember my son's birth? No. I just remember my feet being in the sturdy thingies. And then it just been all over. Or with my second son, I remember, um, you know, running up the steps, jogging, and then I started having contractions. I almost died. Them things was killing me. I remember that pain, trust me. But the trip to the hospital is what scared me because I don't know how I got to the hospital. I don't know who was talking to me. I don't remember none of that. I just know... I had a contraction, Some, the ambulance burst through the door, and then I ended up at the hospital. I don't remember what happened after that. Then when I got in the hospital bed, they tried, they were talking to me. I remember kirking off because I was in so much pain. And then, let me see, I think I pushed like three times and he came out. I was like, this boy got to get out of here. Because I'm like, I know if you hurry up and push through the pain that the baby will, you know, come out and all the pain will go away so i just had that instinct i'm like if i hurry up and push him out all the pain will just subside so that's what i did three pushes with her i had to record because i'm like i'm not about to be you know not remembering what i went through so i recorded me having um contractions trying to dance away the pain and stuff and those are all on YouTube. I will show those videos and stuff like that. But this video is going on long enough. This is Mama and Baby Major. Until next time. Hello. Oh, so cute.